Hi everyone, it's MJ, the fellow actuary, and in this video, I want to introduce you to Project Jupyter, specifically the notebooks that allow you to run Python code. So if you want to get started, and I highly recommend that you do, you want to go to Google and you want to type in Anaconda. So type in Anaconda, and you want to click on the link where it says the world's most popular data science platform. You don't want to click on these really awesome snake videos uh, because that's just going to distract you. So click on Anaconda, and if it's not green, you've gone to the wrong place. So make sure it's green, and look for the big download button. You're going to click that over there, and then depending on what operating system you're on, you want to click that. You want to go for the latest version of Python, and unless you're like a hardcore programmer, I'd recommend the graphical installer. It does take a little bit more space, but it just makes the whole process a little bit easier. So anyway, I think that's quite straightforward on how to install Anaconda. Once you've done that, you want to open it up, and this is what we call the navigator. You then want to come here and click on Jupyter. Now, what you'll see popping up over there in the background is the command line uh, terminal, and that's normal. You can start installing packages and doing a whole bunch of other things there. Uh, you can then simply click New, Python, and Voila, that is how you start. You start with just one little line, you start typing things in, and stuff starts happening. Now, I've already created two notebooks. The one is what I'm calling an introduction um, of data science for actuaries, and you can see I'm just plotting the normal distribution, and I'm just you know messing around and looking at, ooh, what's the Pareto distribution, change some parameters, and see how the shape changes. I've also created a more advanced one where I'm creating loss distributions, which I'm then using in a risk model. I'm then introducing um, excesses and, and trying to create these truncated distributions, which if you remember, they're quite difficult to integrate by hand, whereas here with Python, we can start doing a lot of the calculations in just a few lines. I mean, it really is amazing at how few lines it's needed in order to do these things, which used to take us forever when we did it by, by hand. But if you are interested in Jupyter Notebooks and you want to learn more, I've got two things coming up. The one thing is a live webinar that I will be hosting next week. And this is going to be done with two more experienced actuaries who will be going through Jupyter Notebooks. They'll be saying where it came from, what it can do, and even giving a, a bit of a demonstration. And like I say, it will be live, so you will have the opportunity to ask them questions as the presentation is happening. So I highly, highly recommend that. And then if you are based here in Cape Town, I'm going to be having a live event where I'm just going to be hosting a few actuaries, and we're actually going to go through some of the steps in order to get started with Jupyter Notebooks and do a few of these actuarial calculations. It's going to be quite a fun event, more of a social event, but also to just get your feet wet and start seeing all the cool things that you can start doing with Jupyter Notebooks. So like I said, if you're interested in any of these things, check the description for the links below. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you guys there. Anyway, keep well. Cheers.